I, I want to bring you up today on this story because this appears to be the president aligning himself more with Democrats than Republicans. Certainly the conservative caucus that was very much against what I'm about to detail to you now. Uh, a measure that uh, gets the debt ceiling raised attached to a measure that provides uh, $8 billion in immediate Harvey relief. The two are joined at the hip to keep the government lights on or at least keep the ceiling raised and funded through December 15th. Republicans are not keen on this. That conservative caucus, the Freedom Caucus, not keen on this. But uh, what to make of the fact that this was largely launched with the president, top Democrats supporting this? Anyone's guess as to how this would fly in the Senate, where the next stop will be? But I've got former UBS America's chairman and uh, CEO Robert Wolf on all of that. Um, what do you think? Well, two things. One, I'm glad they're doing FEMA funding. It's important for Hurricane Harvey and especially Irma. So that's a yeah, given. We a have to approve down that. Payment, right? yeah. Just a small. And the debt ceiling, it shouldn't even be a debate. We should be doing a clean debt ceiling and at some point have a real debate about the debt ceiling and deficits and, and you know, Medicare, Medicaid and everything else interest debt, but well, that's not going to happen today. Debt, whatever people think of it, then it is messy to see the sausage being made and, and, and especially the, the, the short rope it's on as it's made. Yeah. I can mix analogies there, but that, that uh, December 15th we'll be revisiting all of this again. Yeah, I, I don't know what these short-term kick the cans really do. That being said, if this is the only way you can get the FEMA right, funding right. passed, you got to do it. And so... What do you make of the president? doing this largely with Democrats, not solely, obviously, you can't just do it that way, but um, that it's, he's advancing the ball and might be using the same strategy to get tax cuts. Listen, I don't think they would have possibly gotten the 60 votes on separating the two, and I think right. this is the way they get the votes. And if they separated it, then there's deal-making, and you don't have real time for that much deal-making. So I'm sure the conservative movement is probably not happy that they combine the two, because the House just passed on FEMA alone. They didn't, you know, right. do it with the debt ceiling. So, the, so the, the House, but I'm, I, you know, if this is the way you have to get it done, get it done. All right. Um, you were mentioning, and we were chatting during the break, about um, uh, president Obama, when he was in office, also wanted corporate tax relief. I don't think as low as this president wants to go, and maybe not as uh, low as either wanted to go. Yeah. But but uh, that he could enjoy Democratic support. And I'm reading in between the lines, he wouldn't be looking at Democratic support unless he compromised on something. Yeah. And that is so, a tax cut for the wealthy. Yep. Yeah, so the president you know, really separated personal President Obama and business tax reform. They didn't call it corporate. Right. Business tax reform, you were right, that he wanted to do 28% for all corporates and 25% for manufacturing to get exports going. That's right. He broke um, it, he broke it yeah. into two. Um, but he had to do it revenue neutral because they wanted to continue to lower the deficit. And they were just not going to get those votes passed. What about and now? I think now... I, one, I think that, once again, I don't think you can do tax reform holistically. You need to separate business and personal. You are and not you getting personal tax get reform this year. Yeah. I think the only thing you can get possibly in the next three to six months is business tax reform, where you lower the rate, you work on repatriation, and then you take out business loopholes. And I was listening to you and Charlie before, and, and I kind of agree that the market's expecting more. I don't think we're going to get so that. So the market size up, uh, Robert, uh, that they'll get corporate relief, maybe not on the individual relief they want, the best case scenario, certainly not for the well-to-do. Um, Stuart Varney and some of my colleagues here say, well, better that than nothing. I'm not so sure. Well, the, the thing is, for them, it, it will be interesting whether they can get it done, because if they go to a 20% and a repatriation, how are they paying for it? There's not enough loopholes to pay for that, especially when you only can so you're talk to not a fan of dynamic accounting and all the revenue that comes Listen, out. we're not at 4% GDP. We're certainly they not argue at They argue down the road you could it's, be. They even you argue at 6% that. in the next 10 years. I know we had a good last quarter, and that's great. I want right. GDP to move. But we're still averaging annualized in the mid-twos. We are not north of three. And most economists are very nervous here. We have so low inflation. Do you think inflation. it's just a corporate thing? I think it's just business tax reform, right. unfortunately. Real quick, while I have you, you're a big yep. confidant in the Democratic Party as well. Hillary Clinton, uh, she's kind of going after everybody on this book tour, including Vice President Biden, Bernie Sanders. It's almost to me like a scorched earth thing. Um, 
What's going on? Well, it's interesting. I actually saw Secretary Clinton last week, and I think she's doing her own tell-all and giving it her story her way. And is she you know, prepping I, another run for president? I don't think at all. Really? I think I think there'll be 30 plus Democrats, and there will not be a Clinton. There are going to be a lot, aren't there? There'll be a lot, and there won't be a Clinton on the ticket. Really? No. What about a Joe Biden? I think there is. I would call it right now 51-49 yes. But you know, with the vice president, he is till he isn't, and he is until he is. Yeah. Well, you know, he has a book coming out too, so he has to make sure everyone knows he books. may be running. You can't launch a, a you can't launch a presidential run. We should do run. the only bipartisan book out there, there you and I. Because what what will it hurt? All right. Exactly. Uh, Robert, well, thank you very very much.